Hi everyone, Bandana here. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Broken Arrow Open Multiplayer Beta Test or Stress Test. Or the Server Stress Test as the case may be. They kind of said that a lot in the run-up to it, but uh, I don't think it hit home till yesterday. I kind of expected the servers to crash and they did. So, no big shock there. Okay, so we are reconnecting currently as you can see, so the servers are still having some issues. The plan is today we're just going to have a very basic look at deck building. There are lots of very new players to this type of game who've never played the Ugens games or similar games where you have a deck to build and they want someone to explain. Because I had a lot of people coming on the stream asking yesterday. So let's do a very quick basic video just to explain that. So this won't apply to people who already know how to build a deck. It is the basics of the basics, okay? So you're on the main page of the game you're on the main menu we're going to click arsenal we're going to click army builder and then you'll see your battle group list if you've just booted up the game the first time you will have my first ru deck and my first us deck i've got some other ones here i'm going to click to create a battle group now at the top of this you will see you can enter a name for that battle group so let's do russia battle group video and we'll make this one a Russian deck, okay? What I will also note is that you can use the USA as well. The flags are here. Whichever one you click and is highlighted is the one you choose. There are only two nations in the game, Russia and America, and that will be the same on release. The difference between now and release is currently there are only two specializations, but on release there will be five specializations for the Russians and five for the USA. Right now, you only have two to choose from, and you have to choose two. So, you will choose the two that are available. Over at the right-hand side of this box, you will see Battle Group Size. Recon, Infantry, Vehicles, Support, Helicopters and Aircraft. This is the amount of points you have to spend in each area, and that will become clear when we get into the Deck Builder. But right now, if I hover over them, you can see how much they add to each area, and different specializations will add different amounts to different areas. So we have the VDV Brigade, and we have the Guard Tank Brigade. Obviously, the Guard Tank Brigade has more vehicles, and the VDV has a bit more of a spread over everything, including aircraft. Let's highlight them both, and they get added together. And that's our total amount we're allowed in our deck in each area. Let's create the deck. So hit Create and move on. Okay. Okay. So I don't want to build a full deck here, as I say, I just want to demonstrate how it works, so we won't be filling out the deck completely. I want to give two pieces of advice. One, this is a multiplayer beta test. Please just have fun with your deck builds. Don't stress about building a meta deck. I know when I build decks for Warno and things like that, I'm looking at the best unit for this, the best unit for that, where's the best thing to spend your money. Don't worry about that enjoy the game build the deck how you want there'll be plenty of time for playing meta later if that's your thing but right now pick units that look cool pick units that you want to have fun with pick units that you're going to enjoy playing there are loads of people like that this isn't you know going to be a situation where everybody is doing the meta and you're not there are thousands of people playing this right now or will be when the servers are working <laughs> so don't stress. Let's have a quick look at this screen. So up here in the top left corner, you have total zero of 10,000. 10,000 is the maximum amount of points you can have to spend in your deck. Okay. Then we have the Russian flag signifying that this is a Russian deck. And then we have the two specializations there. And then we have the title, which you can change again. There's also a reset button and a save button. Remember the save button. It's good to hit it every so often because if you accidentally hit Arsenal tab or deck list, it wipes out everything you've done. So don't be afraid to hit save quite a bit. Let's have a look at our recon tab. It's the top one in the list. So there's two sections to these tabs. Specifically, recon is one of the few tabs where you will get two sections. In fact, I'm not sure at the moment any of the tabs have this, but recon does so you've got an infantry section at the top and then you've got a line and then you've got a vehicle section down at the bottom and in this case also drones so with infantry you'll notice they have a quote-unquote little link icon 
This means that when you bring in a piece of infantry, you have to link it with a vehicle or bring it in on foot, which is at the far right of the list. If you bring it in on foot, it can indeed come into the map on foot. However, bear in mind that if you bring it in on foot, it will take forever and a day to get to the front line. You really want to bring it in in a vehicle. However, you can bring them in on foot here and choose any vehicle that is big enough for them from your access, you know, accessible vehicles, the vehicles you have chosen in your deck. So you can choose like some vehicles here and maybe I bring in the Razvedka with a BAMD 4M but then when I'm actually playing the game I bring the VDV snipery in the BMD 4M. Does that make sense? I can bring any infantry in any vehicle that is capable of holding an infantry squad that size. I can even put two infantry squads in one vehicle. Plenty of options, okay? But let me just demonstrate what happens. So if I drag the VDV Razvedka up to there, you'll see I instantly have the BMD2 available to me. Um, I will just note the VDV Razvedka have a squad loadout option. Some infantry will have a squad loadout option. Some will not. The same as some vehicles will have upgrade options and some will not. If we click on it, we can choose between loud and suppressed. If we go suppressed, it costs us five point more for the unit. See the difference there? It changes the weapon loadout, which is visible down there. We can also make that simpler by clicking that. And it gives us the basics. So if you don't want to have to learn everything about the units, you can flick that switch and just see the basics and get your ranges, get your penetration, get your damage. You know, it's nice and straightforward that way. Don't be afraid to do that if you are new to this game and you don't want to worry about every single bit of detail and click on all the weapons and everything else. Doesn't have to be stressful, okay? You can have some fun with it. BMD2, again, you can change his weapons package. You can have uh, no HEGM, you can have it with a Conkers, or you can have it the BMD2M and give it the upgrade with the Cornet missile, which is even stronger than the Conkers. So the Conkers there, 1600 meters, but only 650 penetration. The Cornet, same range, but it has 1200 penetration, so that's going to hurt. And you'll see it actually changes the unit as well as you do this. So, lots and lots of options, okay? There are many, many options you can explore with the units. I'm not going to say this is better than that, that's better than that. Explore it yourself, play with them, experiment, see what's good, see what's not yourself. Have fun with it. Um, obviously, you can change that by clicking a different vehicle and dragging it on. There we go, I've now got the BMD4 there instead. And again, we can upgrade the armor package for that. Do different things. Uh, let's say I then want to bring in the VDV Spetsnaz, fancy squad, but I don't want them to come in in a vehicle and I'll bring them in with something else. Maybe, you know, I can choose a transport helicopter or another transport vehicle. So I'll drag the on foot symbol across and there we go. Now we have that problem solved. You can also just double click and it will do the same thing. What you can't do is bring a different type of unit. So if I change this to Metis, instead of the thermobaric launcher, thermobaric is good against infantry by the way, then it changes the ones up there. I can't bring in one squad of Spetsnaz with thermobaric and one squad with Metis. I'm not sure why, but that is fixed at the moment. You can only have one or the other. But we could change the vehicles as well. And then you can increase what you're bringing. So uh, as you'll see at the moment, if I have the VDV Razvedka selected, I've got one of six. I can only bring one of one BMD 4M. I can increase my Razvedka, and as I increase that, you will notice that the amount of BMD 4Ms I can bring also increases. And obviously, my usage of the total 1,500 points goes up as well. So let's say I bring four of those, and I'll just bring two BMD 4Ms, and should I want to bring in more Razvedka at the same time, I can bring them in in a different transport vehicle. I hope that makes sense. Down at the bottom, we have the vehicle options. So we have a nice T90M, which is a special recon variant. We can upgrade its optics package, which will cost 30 points more. And then we can also upgrade its weapon. So we can have a 
lower end machine gun or a nice heavy machine gun just by clicking that for an extra five points we can drag that up there and again we can add or minus it we can also just double click to add another one and then there are drones drones can be shot down by anti-air defenses and jets so bear that in mind but these things come with a variety of upgrades as well some will have upgrades some probably won't but you can give it an optics package to increase its line of sight so it'll be able to see further you can also give it weapons to kill enemy vehicles and ground units maybe some of them will even have anti-air missiles who knows lots of options perhaps in the future so that's recon okay as i say keeping it nice simple don't stress about it put what you want in experiment have fun okay infantry exactly the same as recon infantry there's no vehicle list at the bottom this is just infantry and various vehicles now it's worth looking at the vehicles as well because some of the vehicles are very cool and the upgrades they get are very cool this one gets the boomerang bm module which goes from just having a heavy machine gun up to having a 30 millimeter auto cannon a pkt medium machine gun and a corn missile launcher that is a nasty piece of work and the Barbaris, the T-15, again, very similar. It can have an upgraded weapons package. It gets the Boomerang BM module to start, but you can upgrade it to the Kinzel module as well, which changes its weapon loadout. So it gets a 57mm cannon instead, so heavier hitting. Also changes this missile to the Attacker missile, which has a better range, but slightly less penetration than the Cornet missile. As I say, some of the vehicles just look really cool here. You also got the B-10 Kurganets as an option. So, yeah, have a look through them because some of those vehicles are really cool. Obviously, there's also helicopter options for transport, which, again, you can change the weapons on and stuff. Bear in mind that it adds to the price. Um, so it can be worth just, you know, bringing some infantry in on foot and then bring them in in another vehicle. Some decks will have dedicated transport vehicles, some decks won't. I'm going to back out the infantry because we've seen how to add infantry, okay? We did that in the recon tab. In the vehicle tab, you will find tanks, you will find other vehicles, and you will find ATGM launchers and things like that, okay? So anti-tank missile launchers. And things like the BMPT Terminator, which is an anti-infantry and anti-tank vehicle. And again, you can just add those as we saw how to add the other vehicles. In support, you will find anti-air, you will find artillery, and you will find supply vehicles. Some of those supply vehicles can transport people. If I click the cam as, you can see that it has two icons. It has the transport of heavy lift weight which means it can carry supply resources to deploy it can also carry 12 people that means that you can have up to 12 man squads in this vehicle or you could bring a handful of three man squads if that makes sense so you can fit in you know four three man squads if you had that or three four man squads whatever you want to stick in it and then you got the camas which again has an even bigger seat count and bigger supply count I will just make a quick note, because I feel it's important. There are different types of anti-air in the game. There is things like the S-300, or the Patriot Missile System, which is very long range, okay. I'm going to turn that off so you can just see. There are different upgrade packages, which may make it longer range again. But anything with the radar symbol, if you enable the radar, it allows it to be more accurate, and also engage ballistic missiles so you'll see here it can target aircraft and it can target missiles so some units in the game can fire ballistic missiles such as the himars which can fire the attackums missile it's a ballistic missile there are also planes that can fire ballistic missiles these units will shoot them down however please bear in mind that if the radar is enabled they are susceptible to seed attack missiles so jets can carry long-range seed attack missiles that track radar-emitting targets and destroy them. And they are equally very strong in this game, just as the anti-air is very strong. You also get lower-end anti-air, shall we call it, that can fire at 
aircraft and helicopters, but will not have the range and will not be able to fire at incoming ballistic missiles, such as the Strela 10M here. So you'll see in the little icons here, it targets helicopters and aircraft. And this is something you'll see throughout the unit is it'll tell you what it can attack, okay? So that's your support tab, okay? Again, you can fill it out how you wish. I'd strongly recommend making sure you have at least one transport vehicle that can drop off supply to rearm everything else, okay? Moving back, helicopter tab. Again, you've got the tack choppers here and you've got transport. So we've got the MI-8 MTV cargo, which again can carry 21 people or carry 4,000 supply. And then you've got a variety of attack helicopters and the attack helicopters, again, you can change their loadout, which will make them a lot more expensive, but you can make them very strong. Bear in mind, they are extremely susceptible to some anti-aircraft weaponry. So you've got to be careful how you play with these, especially when they cost so much. Okay, and then finally, we have the air tab. Here you will find huge things like the TU-160, which can carry large amounts of ballistic missiles. So long range ballistic missiles that can be shot down by those anti-air pieces, but can be very strong and fire from a very long range. Look at that, 2000 to 10,000 meter range. And this has 12 of the things. So that could be quite scary, but it's very expensive and it will be targeted down by the enemy. Then you've got things like the IL-76, which is a transport jet and people can para drop out of this. So you can send 125 troops in this potentially and they can para drop out over enemy territory if they can make it that far. And then you've got various aircraft choices, including fancier you know stealthier modern jets and you can equip them with different loadouts of weapons depending on your needs um, including some of them like the su-34 i believe which can carry one of those anti-radiation missiles that i was talking about these are the seed missiles and the seed missile if i click on it there you will see has a 4500 meter range some of them have 5000 meter ranges they're designed to outrange your radar aa and make passes at them to kill them okay sometimes these radar aa will shoot at them as they shoot at it and they'll sort of exchange fire other times the seed missiles will outrange them it's a game balance thing the ranges are very different in real life obviously but for the sake of the game it's made this way but there you go that is the basics of deck building the basics of all the units as I say, I don't want to go into any more detail here. This is just a basics how to add stuff to the division and, you know, how to change up the, what it's equipped with. Experiment, play with it, have fun, enjoy the game. Don't stress about the meta. You don't need to. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all soon for some more Broken Hour.